Hi everyone, my name is Leslie, aka Aquagem underscore art online, and this is my husband. Yeah, how are you doing once again? It's Brian. And welcome to week 20 of our hashtag 42 by 42 journey, where Brian and I try to lose 42 pounds by the time we turn 42 next year, which is March for you and June for me. As part of our journey, uh, we joined the Medical Weight Management Center of Canada, and in exchange for going through their six-month program, we uh, are doing these vlogs every week to talk about our experience. This week, we wanted to touch on the definition of best weight. When we started this journey, uh, you know, I had the idea for the 42 by 42, which is very catchy and fun. <laughs> um, but also, I mean, I don't think either of us are, are like, you know, married to that idea in that sense. Like, we know that things can fluctuate and change. So, by going through the program, we've learned more about kind of getting rid of the idea of target weight, ideal weight, goal weight, and instead embrace the concept of best weight. And through the program, the definition of best weight is what you reach when you are living your healthiest lifestyle um, that you can genuinely enjoy, that is at an effort level that you can maintain long term. So the 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 theory is that like often a lot of diets and, and fad diets fail because they are not maintainable long term. We've talked about this in previous videos. Mm -hmm. We know that as you lose weight, your appetite increases and your metabolic rate slows down, which is your ability for your body to burn calories and fat. And that is in response to weight loss. Your body sort of immediately kicks in that, that uh, go-getter and uh, gatekeeper and sleepy executive <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, from the video uh, triggers those, those changes in your body to basically stop you from losing weight. So there's a point at which your, ev your effort level hits a plateau that you're, you, you're no longer losing weight because that metabolic rate has slowed down so much and that appetite has increased so much that they've met in the middle and that's you tend to like plateau and that is the mwm definition of best weight because really everyone's journey is individual all of us can commit the level of effort that we feel we can commit and still enjoy the things we want to enjoy like we talked about you know traveling and celebrations and uh you know special events or or things like that around food and i think well for me i know the the my relationship with food has changed quite a bit in the last few months there are still things that i'm i don't really want to get rid of in in my life um so that's where that like enjoyment and uh effort kind of meet right so we're still discovering you know what that is going to end up as for our best weight because you know it takes time to figure it out and it might be that as you lose weight you gain more motivation and you put in more effort for things like exercise or you know eating or things like that so you know if that can change too over the, the process of the journey yeah, so that's kind of the definition of best weight. It's and it, you know, the program is a lot about changing the ideas around obesity, getting rid of shame and guilt, understanding how our bodies and our minds work, understanding that there are things that we can control and that we can't control, and then finding the combination as individuals that work best for our individual needs. Right. So even though Brian and I are going through the same program, the aspects of what we decide to do or choose or not to choose medication, things like that, the conversations we have with our dietitians, it looks very different. So you spoke to your dietitian today, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we talked about, uh, you know, best way. Um, 
was kind of given some of my experiences in the past when I have um, lost last week um, sometimes uh, to exercise calorie intake and I always found it like um, my body really wants to get back to that previous uh, weight what, uh, what it was on so when you lose I don't know maybe 15 20 pounds you know body doesn't like that your body was like sometimes fighting fighting to get back up to the, what it was previous so when it's not used to um losing losing that weight and um, you know you want to get back to that as soon as possible and um, so we yeah we did discuss a lot about uh, best way and what your best way is right and then and then you know so i think i think it's also about expectations mm-hmm. around what you think you should weigh exactly. versus what is actually sustainable yeah you know what i mean yeah Actually, my dietitian had um, mentioned earlier on today that I never thought of, actually. You know, if you want to go up for a second serving, um, you know, sometimes if you wait 20, 20 minutes, you will feel uh, full in that time, and you may not necessarily want that uh, second offering. So instead of going up straight away, just getting second plate, maybe to wait 20 minutes, and I was like, oh, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, because you were doing that at dinner tonight. Yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sharing that with, uh, yeah. with everyone, I mean, the kids, yeah. It's all sort of things like to help us be aware mm. of, you know, our eating habits. Because I think before, you know, we would have loaded up our plates with the second helping already, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of thing like two sausages or whatever it yeah. is. Whereas opposed to it's better now to, to like take less and then mm. wait and see if you yeah. want more. Just give yourself you know? some time, really. That's what it's yeah. a, kind of about. So that's a that's an extra little tidbit on yeah. top of that but um yeah i think that's everything we want to talk about this week uh next week we're gonna do a weigh-in and i'm very excited about that because i have had some good results as of late but again it's all a journey and i think letting go of our expectations has helped us to be more positive mm-hmm. to be more confident about what we can achieve and ultimately to have more success in that way mm-hmm. excellent So um, if you want to learn more about the Medical Weight Management Center of Canada, the link will be in the description below. If you want to follow me on any other social media, my links will also be below. And uh, next week, I will be appearing at HalCon Sci-Fi Con in Halifax. I'm very excited to be out there. So if you're in the area, come say hi. And we will see you next week for week 21. Uh, We're going to do a weigh-in and... Uh, We have some exciting results Mm -hmm. to show you. Uh, Thank you so much, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Yep, see you next week. Have a safe week.